Hello, everyone. Do you still remember what we learned in lesson ninety? What's for supper? That is a story with typical British humour. Well, today lesson ninety-two offers another humorous story. It's about a man going home very late. I'll check myself here and let you find out what happened to that poor man. 好，我们还是从生词来开始。Fast, ladder, shit, sarcastic, tone. 聊聊几个生词，可能不足以让大家猜出故事的梗概。那么，咱们别耽搁时间，赶紧进入课文吧。别忘了下面的四个问题。What did the author do when he failed to wake up his wife? By ringing the doorbell. 当作者摁门铃儿没有惊醒妻子的时候，他干什么了 ？What happened when he almost got to the bedroom window? 当他就要爬到卧室窗户的时候，发生了什么事儿 ？What did he say, which he immediately regretted? 他说了什么话，立刻就后悔了？ What happened when the policeman started to climb towards him? 当警察开始向他爬过来的时候，发生了什么事儿 ？It must have been about two in the morning when I returned home. I tried to wake up my wife by ringing the doorbell, but she was fast asleep. So I got a ladder from the shed in the garden, put it against the wall. And began climbing towards the bedroom window. I was almost there when a sarcastic voice below said, "I don't think the windows need cleaning at this time of the night." I looked down and nearly fell off the ladder when I saw a policeman. I immediately regretted answering in the way I did, but I said. I enjoy cleaning windows at night. So do I," answered the policeman in the same tone. "Excuse my interrupting you. I hate to interrupt a man when he's busy working. But would you mind coming with me to the station? Well, I'd prefer to stay here," I said. "You see, I've forgotten my key." Your what? He called. My key! I shouted. Fortunately, the shouting woke up my wife, who opened the window just as the policeman had started to climb towards me. Now, 大家明白了标题 "Asking for trouble" 自找麻烦的意思了吧？好，看看我们前面提出的问题，大家有没有准备好答案？第一个问题 ，What did the author do when he failed to wake up his wife by ringing the doorbell? 回答是 ，He got a ladder from the shed in the garden, put it against the wall, and began climbing towards the bedroom window. 在那种情况下，他当然只能找来一个梯子往卧室的窗口爬去了。第二个问题 ，What happened? Well, he almost got to the bedroom window. Well, a policeman came and said in a sarcastic tone, "I don't think the windows need cleaning at this time of night." 最不幸的事情发生了，就在作者几乎要成功的时候，走来了一位警察。第三个问题 ，What did he say which he immediately regretted? He said. I enjoy cleaning windows at night. 我们这位正在气头上的作者没好气的接了一句：“我就喜欢在半夜里擦窗户。”最后一个问题 ：What happened when the policeman started to climb towards him? Well, the shouting woke up his wife, and she opened the window. 谢天谢地，争吵声终于惊醒了熟睡中的妻子，她打开了窗户。That's a good story, isn't it? 
I could almost vision the sullen man, the sneering policeman, and the sleepy and shocked wife. 好，一起来看看课文中的语言点。I tried to wake up my wife by ringing the doorbell, but she was fast asleep. 课文的开头有这样一句话，请注意 ，fast asleep 的意思是睡得很熟。又比如 ，The girl was lying fast asleep on the sofa. 女孩躺在沙发上睡得很熟。我们还有一点应该注意的是 ，asleep。虽然是一个形容词，但是它通常只在系动词后面做表语，而不能用于名词前做修饰成分。所以，我们只能说 John was asleep, my wife was asleep， 而不能说 the asleep John 或者 the asleep wife。请看第二个语言点。So I got a ladder from the shed. And began climbing towards the bedroom window. 在这句话中，动词 begin 后接动名词 climbing。动词 begin 后面既可以接动名词，也可以接动词不定式，构成 begin to do something 的表达法。这两种表达法一般说来意思大致相同。比如 ，I began to learn English when I was twelve， 或者。I began learning English when I was twelve. 我十二岁的时候开始学英语。但是 ，begin to do something 和 begin doing something 也有不能互换的时候。比如，我们只能说 ，I began to like English when I was ten. 十岁的时候，我开始喜欢上英语，而不能说 ，I began liking English when I was ten. 这是为什么呢？原因是。如果 begin 后面跟的动词表示的是某种不自觉的心理活动，例如 like、love、hate 等，在这种情况下，人们更习惯用动词不定式，而不是动名词。现在请看第三个语言点。I don't think the windows need cleaning at this time of the night. 这句话译成比较通顺的汉语是。我看不必在夜里的这个时候擦窗户吧。通常我们不会说“我不认为要在夜里的这个时候擦窗户”，这是因为英语中当 think 后接表示否定意思的宾语从句时，通常在主句中使用否定形式，而汉语正好相反。再请看第四个语言点。I enjoy cleaning windows at night. So do I. 这里的 so do I 是省略说法。如果不怕啰嗦，完整的说法是 I also enjoy cleaning windows at night. 我们用一个 so 来取代 enjoy cleaning windows at night， 使得整个句式显得简洁而干净。请多看几个例句。He reads a lot, and so do I. 他读书读的很多，我也一样。He can swim, and so can I. 他会游泳，我也会。He is lazy, and so is his son. 他很懒，他儿子也和他一样。下面看第五个语言点。Well, I prefer to stay here. 请注意 ，prefer。更喜欢做什么？是英语中一个非常活跃的动词，通常用在 prefer something to something, prefer to do something rather than do something, prefer somebody to do something， 或者 prefer that 这几个句型里。请看几个相关的例句。A glass of sherry, or would you prefer a cocktail of some kind？ 来一杯雪莉酒吗？或者来杯鸡尾酒什么的。There are those who prefer to suffer deprivation rather than claim legal aid. 有些人宁愿忍受剥削，而不去诉诸法律帮助。
The headmaster prefers them to act plays they have written themselves. 校长更愿意他们上演自己写的剧本。I prefer that he remain uninformed. 我倾向于不告诉他这个消息。好，这就是课文中一些比较重要的语言点。在下面的部分，我们来总结一下动词 ing 形式的用法。首先，让我们来挑出课文中带动词 ing 形式的句子，一起来看看。I try to wake up my wife by ringing the doorbell. 我按门铃儿，试图叫醒我的妻子。课文中带 ing 形式的句子还有 ：I began climbing towards the bedroom window. I don't think the windows need cleaning at this time of the night. I immediately regretted answering in the way I did. I enjoy cleaning windows at night. Excuse my interrupting you. 最后一个是 Would you mind coming with me to the station? 在这几句话中，大家更应该关注的是动词 ing 形式前面的动词。Began, need, regret, enjoy, excuse, 以及 mind， 这些动词后面都可以接动词 ing 形式。最后还有一句话 ，I hate to interrupt a man when he is busy working, busy doing something。这个句型里面也可以用动词 ing 形式。总结以上八个句子，我们会发现动词 ing 形式一般出现在三种情况下。第一种情况是在介词后面做介词宾语，比如我们看到的第一个例句；第二种情况是跟在某些动词后面做动词的宾语，比如从例二到例七都是这样。这些动词包括 begin、need、regret、enjoy、excuse、mind。以后我们还会学到更多这样的动词。第三种情况是，在某些固定的表达法里面可以出现动词 ing 形式，例如 busy doing something。好，这就是我们对动词 ing 形式用法的一个简单的介绍。那么这篇课文讲述的又是一个典型的英国幽默故事。故事中的主人公说完一句话之后，立刻就后悔了。Well, have you ever said anything that you regretted immediately, and why did you regret it? 你有没有过类似的经历？话一出口，立刻就后悔呢？好，慢慢想吧。Thank you. That's all for today. See you next time.